Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Wednesday, 8 July of the week of Pentecost 5. Dietrich Bonhoeffer writing from his prison cell on Christmas Eve, 1943, 15 months before his own death by execution. There is nothing that can replace the absence of someone dear to us, and one should not even attempt to do so. One must simply hold out and endure it. At first, that sounds very hard, but at the same time, it is also a great comfort. For to the extent the emptiness truly remains unfilled, <clears throat> one remains connected to the other person through it. It is wrong to say that God fills the emptiness. God in no way fills it, but much more leaves it precisely unfilled and thus helps us preserve, even in pain, the authentic relationship. Furthermore, the more beautiful and full the remembrance, the more difficult the separation. But gratitude transforms the torment of memory into silent joy. One bears what was lovely in the past, not as a thorn, but as a precious gift deep within, a hidden treasure of which one can always be certain. The prayer, Bishop Stephen Charleston. It is quiet now. All the cares of this long day are drifting away. There is peace in the house and in the garden and over the fence into the wide world beyond. A peace that passes beneath the trees and through the fences circling the moon in a spiral of silver light following the night air going into places where lonely hearts hide searching for the wounded among us, comforting the dreams of the innocent. It is quiet now, for the love of God walks this night as every night, gently seeking, seeking those who need love the most as they wait, wait for the coming of the dawn. Amen.